When I was 11, I was involved in a road traffic accident alongside my dad and little brother, and it sort of left me with um, a muscle condition and chronic pain. It's sort of quite a rare condition, but the best way of understanding it is that, similar to phantom limb, my nerves and my brain tell my back to shut down and to tense up and to cause pain receptors, even though nothing's actually happened to me, like I'm in the car accident all over again. I think it's just an escape, being with animals and kind of being free and out in the countryside. It's just, it's very different from my day-to-day, -day, I know, but it's, it's really lovely. It's odd growing up so, from so young with a disability, but I think in a way I was lucky because I've had it for over half my life, so it's just formed part of who I am. It taught me resilience. It's made me more open as a person. My conditions shaped my character in every way, and so obviously I bring that to work, that this work was work I wanted to do. It was work I found interesting, and I wasn't going to let my sort of physical pain hold me back from doing a career that I really wanted to do. Having this disability and dealing with the doctors and the lawyers from a very young age sparked my interest in a legal career. My doctors had concerns about my ability to manage the long hours that come with a career in corporate law and the sort of high expectations that come with being in a Magic Circle law firm and how that could worsen my condition. I had a very supportive application process with a and I was very upfront about my physical disability and they were so accommodating. I felt very supported um, and have felt very supported since joining the firm. a and has an access ability network, which is its disability and neurodiversity network, which I joined when I joined the firm. From a young age, I made the decision that I wouldn't give up the things I enjoyed just because of my disability.